Hey Ransdev here and welcome to Ultra Wings 2 Overview. I don't know what happened with the prequel but I'm happy to be around for the second game. I'm also happy that we were getting more flying simulators. Funnily enough my first kind of dream job that I wanted to do was to become a pilot but of course my sight is pretty screwed up so that was out of the window back in the day. But with prescription lenses in my headset I can be one. So Ultra Wings 2 is an action packed flying sim where you get to experience the skies with 5 various aircrafts hopefully easy to control and complete a variety of missions across its whole world. If you're not talking about the prequel then the direct comparison, at least to me, is Warplanes. Both kinda has the same setting that you get to fly with the aircraft and destroy airborne enemies or popping some balloons depending on your taste in destruction. For some reason it feels kind of like a GTA but in air. Maybe it's like a weird coincidence but it's essentially a sandbox where you just fly through the environment doing whatever you want or complete the objectives. It looks a little bit more arcadey, which is not a bad thing actually in this case. Many people don't realize how hard it is to steer an aircraft with full control scheme, not mentioning even HOTAS or other equipment. I feel like if it's gonna stay on the simplistic side, then I'm gonna enjoy it much more. Personally, I don't need a lot. Just wanna continuously fly through the buildings and not tremble over any slight change of the joystick and do a barrel roll. I don't really see it not being a success. I'll just have to see if there's enough gameplay to keep things interesting. Like, 5 aircrafts doesn't seem a lot, but then again for a game like that maybe it should be sufficient, so let's go flying! Welcome back to Ultra Wings, pilot. You've shown you can fly, but tensions are mounting with our neighbors the next island chain over. And Ultra Wings needs more than just pilots. We need aces in the sky. Are you ready to use the absolute latest in modern aviation technology to make big smoking holes in the ground? Grab that laser pointer on the table to get started, and don't lose it. It's my last one. <laughs> Settings first. Or not, apparently. It's blocked. <laughs> Aim and select the login button displayed on the projector screen using the action button. Okay. Wait, this is the first game logo, right? Select the missions icon. Oh, there's gonna be multiplayer. Hell yeah, I didn't know. Select the jobs icon to see what jobs need doing. Select the Phoenix icon. I know we all think we're qualified to fly the ultralight, but there have been a lot of changes, pilot. Everyone has to re-qualify. No exceptions. Now read the information about the test. When you're ready, select accept, put on your bone dome, and let's get you up to speed. Pilot, this is the Phoenix, the very latest in ultralight technology. For the first test, we want you to take off and fly towards the yellow waypoint icon shown on your compass. Oof, the graphics. <laughs> oh my god. Well, just up, I guess. <laughs> It's not that hard. Welcome to Queensland, pilot. We're pleased to have you back with us. Just fly to the yellow waypoint icon shown on your compass. Okay. Oh, my head is already spinning. Thank God I'm sitting down. Damn, it's so blocky. It's like we would be on the original quest. <laughs> okay. We've had a city simulator with resist and it actually was pretty good even though we had just as intense locomotion going on. I mean, it's one of the worst graphics I've seen, that's for sure. Hey pilot, for this next test, you'll need to start the aircraft following the instructions on the tablet. Oh my god. Great job. Now take off and fly through the rings positioned around this airport. You can fly through them in any order. Oh, are they? <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh my god. Shit. Hey, I can't grab it. <laughs> Let's just be nice and gentle, I guess. <laughs> Maybe w this hand or blocks when we are like upside down or something. But that would make no sense. I saw in the trial we can do like barrel rolls and stuff. Yeah, the controls are pretty okay. Like it's so easy. For this test, we want you to learn how to use your aircraft's rudder effectively. Please start the aircraft by following the instructions on the tablet. Well done. Now, after takeoff, use your rudder to control your aircraft's yaw as you fly through the rings. What is a rudder? I'm not sure what's new, so... This island is pretty small. They claim the world is three times bigger, so hope we'll be able to fly to other things. Let's see those landing skills, pilot. Grab a hold of the stick and fly through the rings positioned in front of you as you descend. Uh oh, spaghetti. Yes. Oh, there's like a city. Okay, maybe we can just fly to other islands, not necessarily like limited to being here. As big as the world seems like to be. I think the graphics could be a little bit better. I'm just coming up from the Resist experience. Lower your throttle by about 50%. I hope that was that. <laughs> Oh my god. Touchdown. Now reduce your throttle to 0% and apply your brakes until you come to a full stop. Ooh. Nicely done, pilot. For the last test, we want you to take off, fly through the ring course, and land back here. Get a bronze or better, and you pass. But the night looks fine, like the sky. I'm a little bit confused. I love the simplicity actually. Hope it's gonna apply to other aircrafts as well. So we need to fly through the rings and land. A full course. Are we in London? I'm just seeing the apparent Big Ben, but I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, I think this is a mix of a city because we have the Berlin uh, something, I don't remember. That was Big Ben. This doesn't seem like a 
European building. <laughs> Is this Notre Dame? I mean, <laughs> I have no idea. I don't even know where that is. Okay, we need to land. It's time to land. Bring her home. Oh, home. Okay. Unless we land anywhere we want. That's not a good idea. <laughs> Wait, no. I'm too fast. Uh -oh. Stop, B. Okay. Fantastic. Congratulations, pilot. <laughs> Congratulations, pilot. You are a hot item. You've qualified for some new jobs with the Phoenix. You can take your pick by going to the job screen. Honestly, I would go to the multiplayer though, knowing that it's available. I'm not like sure if it's in operations or not, but I don't see even the option. Unless like it's in world map or something, like a free fly. Phoenix 1222, you are cleared for takeoff. Godspeed, pilot. What's there? Would it be so fun if the players would start appearing? <laughs> Wait, there are other planes. It's a idol. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's cash. I love that the landing is so smooth. So, did they get my money? I don't know, maybe multiplayer unlocks later on, but I don't see anything else. So, let's see this ring rush, I guess. The missions are very basic, at least from what I see. Hey, pilot, just take off and fly through the score rings in front of you. You'll earn points based on how close to the center you are when you fly through it. Just like playing darts at a local pub. I don't see, like, a lot of things or features going on that I saw in the trailer, like shooting stuff or dogfighting you have to play a bit to unlock I think we can fly to other islands now. <laughs> I think I'm getting bored a little bit. <laughs> it's because of the pacing of the game. Too slow. Maybe for me. It's like you need to spend a lot of more time, not only for the overview, to unlock the full potential of the game. I do have to say it's simple, maybe it's too simple. Not in terms of flying mechanics, like I'm totally fine with it. I feel like the whole UI doesn't feel professional. And then just the design overall. Can we like go out? Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. <laughs> I think we can push more than this graphics. This is like job simulator level. The main gameplay is fun. Maybe a little bit stale in the beginning. And I'm not sure about this high price point. I don't know. I feel like it can be way more than what we have here. But everything works properly. So I'm a little bit torn if I actually agree with the whole state of the game. <laughs> I'm not gonna play it more because it just doesn't seem play for worthy. And I still don't know how to unlock this multiplayer. Maybe it's gonna be like in some update. We just had an option that indicated that. I guess I'll just sum it up to be a mediocre thing.